Hi, guy. Congratulations on Skin. Thank you so much, man. That's, I appreciate it. Oh, I watched the movie, loved it. Very visceral and brutally raw. And um, I got to ask you, I know you did a short film also titled Skin, right? Yeah. So uh, how did you come up by this one? And it's different and not similar to the uh, the short film. Well, um, it was all started when I finished the script for the feature and nobody wanted to put money in the feature. <clears throat> so I decided to make a short in order to make the feature happen. Mm. Uh, because, you know, when I finished the script for the feature, um, people told me it's it's looks like it's a, a surrealistic movie. It's like not real. There's no like neo Nazis in the States. It's not a real thing. And I was, I was bummed. So all my sh features were shorts before in Israel, so uh, I knew that that's kind of a way to make the feature happen, to show kind of a uh, proof of concept. So that's how it led to the feature. Um, it, it made the feature happen. Yes. Um, so talk a bit about casting Jamie and Danielle as uh, Brian and Julie. And Brian is an actual real life character. Talk a bit about casting that. Oren Moverman, who's the producer on this movie, had the idea of having a, a Jamie Bell. And he met him two weeks before I met him, and he told me that you got to meet this guy. And I drove to Virginia, where Jamie shot his TV show, and I saw I saw Brian Widener in front of my eyes. Oh. And Danielle um, is uh, neighbors, my mate, my neighbor. He, she babysit my dog, I babysit her dogs, and just know each other uh, from. And she was in the short, obviously. What were the challenges of addressing something like this that's very sensitive? You know, white supremacists are not likable people. <laughs> so how do you make them, especially Brian, uh, come off as sympathetic? He's, you know, it's about humanity. It's human. You know, every monster is also human. You know, it's a, there's a hidden human inside of this monster. And, you know, it was important for me that this character is going through redemption. So it's not about neo-Nazis, it's about neo-Nazi who's going through redemption, who wants to become a better person. And for me, it was taking uh, someone who, the change is not only physical, it's social mental. And knowing the real character, you know, and knowing what he went through, and I met him face to face, I I knew that this, this guy is real, and he's he had a real genuine change. So that's why I made this movie. Now, um, the process of erasing tattoos, now you made us uh, see how clear, how, how painful that process is. <laughs> Could you talk a bit about uh, filming that shot? Uh, was that actual somebody's skin? Actually, it was. Uh, we went to this special guy who has machines uh, that takes tattoos off your skin. So we tattooed fake fake skin that looks real okay. and we um, really use the machine to to you know take them off but the guy who has this company he also tattooed himself a little bit and he took took off the, with the machine it looks real definitely um so talk about um getting that performance out of Jamie and Danielle it's it, there's emotionally there's a lot of emotionally devastating moments including the shootout or the gunfire and it's a heavy, heavy, uh, dramatic part for both of them. Uh, as a director, um, how do you work with them in getting that performance out of them? Well, first of all, they, they did an amazing work themselves. They came ready. Um, Jamie uh, gained 30 pounds. He went to live with Brian Widener. He um, really shaped up for the role. And he, he changed his body and went into this mindset of white supremacy. Um, Danielle did her research and she met Jamie and they spoke a lot. We spoke a lot. We, we talked a lot about the role and how we wanted to be human and not only monstrous. Um, and I think that on set together, we found this, who are these people? And, and, you know, I gave them a lot of freedom to improvise as well. So they brought a lot of, from them, they brought a lot of material and sentences and dialogue that I get, for instance, the scene on the sofa when they first meet and they get drunk, and that's basically improvised. Last question. What do you want the audience to take away from the themes of skin? It's a story about acceptance. And my question to the audience, do you have a place in your heart to accept a monster who wants to become human being again? And 
you may say no you may say i don't i don't i don't want to even accept this guy i don't want to give him a chance but it's about dialogue it's about um education how we educate our kids and how it starts from the age of 14 and 10 uh but i also want it's a deep dive into the um fascism in the us right now so we don't live in a bubble anymore we see the truth in our eyes you know we see the truth in front of our eyes and see how america the backyard of america be, become the front yard of america mm -hmm. so i think that it's it's not only teaching or the message is let's have hope that people can change and have a chance give a chance for someone who really wants to do this really genuinely want to do that but it's hard because people judge you from both ends from the family that you left and from the new people that you want to be part of you always being judged thank you so much sir for the time congratulations